There's an Alice in the Wonderland exhibition going on right now, so I bring in my people for Talk Cup Do Stuff! Talk Cup Do Stuff! The people here, they're all staring at us. Come on, Cheshire. Oh, look, you each have one symbol. You're a mad hatter. Yeah, I'm a mad hatter. You know, apparently, they told me the rabbit is for kids. Very cute thing. Hey, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> this exhibition actually showcases all the different renditions of Alice in Wonderland, all the way from the first book to the Disney movie that we've loved so much. It looks like you're under her skirt. <laughs> so, look for this symbol inside our exhibition. You'll be able to unlock special hidden content about your character. <laughs> this is not a game in true. Hey, actually, it's different areas. So Y'all can ch come by here. It's actually more fun. <laughs> you fell for it. We went to a different area. <laughs> <laughs> this area has like multiple doors. It's kind of like a choose your own adventure thing. Each oh. door actually leads to a different area. Oh. Oh, we are. We are in another place. You see, like, images of rain in the background. Oh. Based on what I roughly remember from my class, this is Alice, and Lewis Carroll kind of like her. So she wrote two books about her. Through the looking glass and Alice in Wonderland. So last time it was normal, I think now it's kind of creepy. Would not recommend. So they actually have like NFC chip built into this booklet itself. So a lot of their system can actually pick it up and show what they were supposed to show. Do open your map and find your symbol. There's a clock symbol here, so it corresponds to the rabbit character. What do I do with it actually? Open up the booklet. There's like little history, extra yeah. tidbit you can read off somewhere. Oh. So these are like projection light. The one that they actually put in. Oh, yeah. This one. So it will project out something like that. Furries. Still hot back then. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like your life size man rabbit? This is the first rendition of Alice on film. The anime version of Alice in Wonderland. Alice Susu in the Wonderland, dude. Alice in Book Paris. <laughs> this one here is a state of the art. Alice as Annabelle. This is a uh, Egyptian version of Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> <laughs> okay, raise the yes. hand. <laughs> so inside this is showing the horror version of Alice in Wonderland. It's elevated so kids cannot watch it. Oh, <laughs> 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 I think I'm not gonna sleep very well tonight, but. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Okay, hey, go up as long as you don't touch the door. Don't touch. Don't touch. Okay, don't touch. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't get up. If we look that way, we are going to Disney version of Alice in Wonderland. Disney! <laughs> so once you're done decorating, you can scan in the machine, take a photo of your face and your appear on the screen. Oh, so I like the student who cheats. I'm just gonna submit a blank sheet of paper. And these are the good students. You put this in here, you take a picture here, and it forms a face there. Oh! Oh, it worked! Oh my god! That's terrible! Lily, please. That's me! That's Alex. I don't have to stress to you, please do not touch anything that's on the table. This is the centerpiece of the exhibition a very Instagrammable Mad Hatter's Tea Party. A process called projection mapping is used to achieve this magical 3D-ish effect. Everything you see here that are projected onto the wall, the bowls and the plates are manually keyed into a program and mapped onto a certain spot in space via a number of projectors. This is kind of why we were told not to move anything in here because it breaks the illusion of the 3D projection mapping. Okay, so how do you guys feel about the exhibition? Which one is your favourite? Tea Party! I get the easiest answer. Tea Party was nice. And super duper cool. The different film editations over the years. Because as a film student, <laughs> you can see like how art has performed and evolved through the years. <laughs> I really like the interactive half Alice thing. It shows you like the animations on the paper itself. Pretty cool. Personally, I like the attention to details in the whole exhibition. The little trinkets, they live within the exhibition itself. It's almost everything an Alice in Wonderland fan can ask for in an exhibition. Oh, I think some, some of people might be a bit freaked out by the puppets, but They're yeah. Not, not child friendly, not child friendly. Not child friendly, unless you, you hate your nephews and nieces. You can bring them here. Thank you Outside Museum for having us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.
it to the mouse that he met in the house. Let us both go to law. I will prosecute you. Long. <laughs> Ray, Ray reading Chen Yu. Yes. <laughs> Chinese poetry. Yes. No, just kidding. Tang Qian Ming Yue Guang.